It's all out war first tonight. Rick Adams and Emily Booth lead the teams on Mission Paintball. Emily Booth. And I'm Rick Adams. And, and this, this is, is Mission Paintball. Paintball. Yes, here we are in the depths of sunny Sunnyside at the Campaign Paintball headquarters for another bout of shooting games to find a team to play in the coveted final down at Crystal Palace. That's right, Emily. And all our players are going to be using one of these babies. They're semi-automatic. This one in particular is called an auto cocker. Down here we've got compressed air which fires the gun. We've got 200 paintball pellets at the top here. And they can be fired pretty much as fast as you can move your little pinky on the trigger here which in some cases is up to 12 per second, so you have to be pretty fast. That is hefty, 12 times as painful as well. <laughs> and they can fire around about just underneath 200 miles per hour, so that's pretty ow, and the second <laughs> ow is that this gun itself costs nearly 1,300 quid. Ouch indeed. OK, well, I think it is now time to meet today's teams. OK, Rick? Let's do it. Okay. This is always the contentious part of the program. I know. We get to choose the teams. <laughs> and this is going to pave the way for what's going to happen later on in the show, isn't it? So who do you want to pick? It's Mayhem Tigers or K2. Mm, I think I'm going to go for K2. Anybody who likes a good climb, I think it's got good power, strength in the body, they're going to yeah, win. Well, you're going to regret that, Rick, because I'm going to take Mayhem Tigers. <laughs> it is time, got her indeed, it is time for our first game of the day. Let's play. Ooh. Get out of it. Welcome to Bamboo City, gentlemen, and this is our first game. It's Raise the Flag. The objective really is very simple. Our teams are on either side of this village here. They've both got flags. The first team to raise their flag up the pole wins. 25 points in this case, and for every opponent that they eliminate, 10 points on top of that. You'll be able to follow the action from the head cams and the various members of the team. So, if you're ready, let's get it on! Stand by! Get it on! Go, go, go. Come on! And it's begun. We're off. So K2 moving forward very fast, in already in bunkered up. Now we're already getting shot at in the bunker up here. <laughs> Check his feet, Joe, got his feet! The I don't problem, think anyone's been shot down yet. The biggest problem for the teams right now is that they have to cement positions and then take out as many of the opposite teams as possible. So far there's a lot of fire but no action. Mm hmm indeed, I think they're all playing it safe. Some serious redecoration going on with these cotton wheels. But there we go, there's a push Set forward on the right hand side Set of the field. You're yeah, behind the left! Set the height, yeah! And right behind me now, the K2 guys are deciding to make a push for it up this outer side. So it looks like they're covering both outer sides of the field. No one in the middle and so far. I've also, I know exactly where he's going to be shooting at one of my guys. I've got a Mayhem Tiger hidden behind one of the cotton rails, but it's tiny. And it's not going to give him much cover. No one's down from any of the team. It's five all. Oh, hang on, now we've got K2 actually advancing. They're com right in the thick of it now. They're close to the flag. Bold move. But what's clever here is that K2 have moved up close to the flag in order to cover a push forward, and I think that's what they're trying to do. Well, yeah, they're protecting it for themselves, aren't they? And he's gone. So we've lost one member of K2, so they're down to four members. They're determined. Oh, one of, one of the Tigers is down. Another tiger is down, he's raised his hand. So that's a I tiger out. This is hopefully given K2 a little bit more confidence. Indeed, they might be lost now. now that they that's another one gone. gone. That's, another, that's another tiger out. Right. I think Tiger's main man is stuck behind that hut somewhere in the middle there and can't move at all. Well, he can't move now because there's no one covering him. He hasn't moved from the beginning. <laughs> Go 
And he's out, he's down. And that was a mugging shot, that was brilliant. It's oh. just all gone beat tong, hasn't it? It looks to me like K2 have managed to secure the pole and they're raising their flag as soon as they can to complete. Oh, he's out though, he's been shot as he's been trying to raise the flag. So who's left to raise that flag? And in comes, this is an unbelievable performance from K2. K2 it's have just lost it at the last minute. And you the can Tigers just see are in anything there. Anything absolutely happens in paintball if you're playing tactically. I'm ashamed to say you're quite right, and Tigers deserve to win this because they just played the waiting game. This is a lovely moment for us, Mayhem Tigers. Come and on. they've raised the flag! Right, Mama! Nice one! Steve, come and join me. This is Steve, captain of the Mayhem Tigers. What a massive turnaround of events. What happened there? It looked like Katie were just about to get their flag up, and then it all went completely wrong. They made a cardinal mistake, they forgot about one player and it all it takes is one player to turn the game round. So. Indeed, so was he, was he hid, where was he hidden? Uh, he was basically hiding in the thick stuff um, and uh, they just they wanted to get me out and they concentrated on me, thought they won the game, that's it. So who was the guy who did it in the end? That was Tom. Tom, yeah. nice one Tom. Well, K2 were you know, playing really well, we thought they might even win this match. They managed to eliminate four of the Mayhem Tigers, giving them 40 points, but of course you came up trumps in the end in a fantastic turnaround of events. You got all of them wiped out, that's 50 points, and of course you raised the triumphant flag, giving you a further 25 points. That's 75 points to you, making you the winners so far. Well done. Welcome to Snap Shooter, our game of speed and accuracy. Nestling behind me somewhere in the undergrowth are a range of targets, both good and bad. Our teams have selected their crack shots, and the idea is they've got 60 seconds to nail as many of the bad guys as possible for five points apiece. But beware, because out there are some good guys. Hit them, and we minus 10 off your score. Let's welcome in our first team. It's K2. They're going to have a go. And uh, it's Okamon. So come on in, Okamon. Hi. Uh, Okamon, you're called Okamon because? Um, it's named after Pokemon. My name's Oki, and it sort of transcended into Okimon. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, have, I, have you actually uh, ever had a go at uh, a bit of snaps? Uh, not in this sort of scenario, no. Only during the game. Um, I, have, I think my team obviously have faith in me at snap shooting during the game, so they think it'll actually, uh, you know, be able to do all right on this as well. I've got so, faith in you. Thank you. So let's play it, snap shooter. Cheers. Three, two, one, go! Miss. Hit. So there's Snap Shooter and Team K2. Okamon, oh, come on in. You did really well there. Thank you. How did it feel? Yeah, it was really good, actually, yeah. Do you yeah. want to know how many you got? Yeah, please. You got seven. Excellent. So excellent. that's 35 points. Nice one. For, and how did it actually feel for you? Because, I mean, you know, that's the first time you've yeah. ever done it. Yeah, I think it's when that first goodie comes up and you sort of, uh, that's like your house. <laughs> it's a lady! Feet, but yeah, exactly. But uh, other than that, no, it's excellent. Good oh, fun. Cool stuff. OK, well, that's a good score. And Thank hopefully you. you may make it into our prize where we're actually in the finals. We're giving an award for the, the high score at achieved in this actual round here. So right. fingers crossed for you on that one. Thank you. Uh, but next... Welcome to the Hut of Hell, the scene of one of the scariest games here at Mission Paintball. In fact, inside this hut, there is a team. It's K2. They're my team, and I'm going in to join them. Meanwhile, I am outside the hut with the Mayhem Tigers. Now, what they've got to do is get down there, eliminate as many of K2 as they can, and hopefully grab Rick out of the Hut of Hell, kicking and screaming, thereby capturing him and winning this game. Are we ready, boys? One guy, bring him in. Three, two, one, target! Game on! 
Well, as you can see, we're decorating the forest in an interesting shade of pink. Some serious rapid fire going on here. So far, we've got all our team left. We're OK. Oh, it's coming in from the other side now. Oh. We've got a tiger down. Oh no, not Bensky. Oh, we've got a really fast run there. Mayhem Tiger's breaking cover there, but he's safe now. He's behind a, a bundle of hay. We've got another K2 is out of the heart. Rick's defense is really going down. <laughs> Welcome to my armchair in hell. Let's see if we get down a bit here. We lost another teammate. Oh, no, not Leighton. Don't leave, Leighton. Please, please. Oh, God. This is good. This is not good. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's been hit. He's down. Ooh, it's Gorag. Gorag has gone. But they've got one real good sniper guy in there. <laughs> yeah, OK, I asked for that one. <laughs> oh, boy. And they're advancing, they're advancing. This is fantastic. They're going right up to the window. That was a real bold move. Let's see if they can get, if the Mayhem Tiger can get that last member of K2. Oh, my God. Got him in the goggles. They got him in the goggles, which is a very good shot. Right in the head there. The Tigers are advancing fast. We've got the team captain, he was holding back. He was always, he's always in the back, he tells me. But now he's run straight into the center of the action. He's slipping over, he's kicking the door down very dramatically. This is fantastic. This is my cue to go and get him. Oh, look at that. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> it happened again, Rick. Yes, it did. That was a brilliant round, Steve. How did it go? Just wore him down, really. That's all you can do with this. Yeah. It's so tight in there. You certainly wore them all down. You wore them yeah. all out, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliantly well done. Well, now, if I were you, I'd go and get yourselves a cup of tea. Come back after the break for the leaderboard. Go! Thanks to a clever new delivery system called Heatwave, Domino's Pizzas now arrive oven hot to your door. Hmm, it uh, makes them taste better too. Domino's Pizzas, they're hot. We go out of our way to check the prices of all our national competitors to guarantee ours can't be beaten. Permanent price check from ATS Euromaster. What drives us is you. I know a song that will get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, I know a song that will get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves. But you don't. Fridge, how can something so tasty be so thick? These days, being a car owner can be as much fun as a flat tyre. So if you're fed up of forking out, insure your car with insure.co.uk. Stay claim free for five years and you get your first year's money back in full. Plus, you get driver delighting prices from a raft of leading insurers 24 hours a day, online or over the phone. And you'll have a quote faster than the time it takes to write a speeding ticket. Call now on 087024343 44. Insure.co.uk. Car insurance reinvented and about time to. Pushed it through. Lovely ball, mate. Lovely ball. He's shooting. He's done it. He's got to shoot. Show that. Come on. They want to break? They're breaking over your side, mate. I can't see. What's going on? Well, yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, he's coming down the right, down to Henri. Henri crossed it. And oh! Oh, it's you lovely boy. Come on, get up it. I can't see it. Yeah, I've got it. He's pushing it down left. It's gone past three of them. Reconnect with BT Talk Together and you can talk locally as much as you like at evenings and weekends for free. It's not just about the result of every game. It's about the result of every tackle. Every nutmeg, every surging run down every wing. The result of every half-time team talk. Every handball, 
dead ball, through ball and hanging ball. The result of every outrageous decision, every outrageous reaction. The result of every goal and every miss. Score. Every one of its 24 pages is crammed with results. Every Sunday in the News of the World. of vodka. Welcome back to Mission Paintball. Before the break, we saw Rick getting dragged out of the hut rather dramatically by the Mayhem Tigers in the last game, which was capture the base. Now, the scores for that game are as follows. K2 did do too badly. They managed to eliminate four members of the Mayhem Tigers, giving them 40 points, but the Mayhem Tigers came up trumps. They eliminated all five members of K2, and of course they also got Rick, which was fantastic, giving them another 25 points, so they got 75 points in total for that round. But now, it's my turn to get in the heart with the Mayhem Tigers, and hopefully they'll be protecting me. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's time for our team shout. Oh, hey! Oh, K2! Oh, hey! K2! Okay, K2, attack Kilimanjaro! Game on! Oh, Lord, it started already. K2 have taken up good positions. Out! K2, what? K2 have already taken a casualty, so that's incredibly good shooting from the guys in the hut there. The Mayhem Tigers managed to take one of our team out, K2 there. Four men. Oh, we've taken another one out. These are vicious. Looking a bit bleak for K2 at the moment, with two of their team members down, three left. We've lost a tiger there moving out of the back of the hut, so one tiger down, four of them left. Yeah, okay, I've got to move now. It's very exciting. Ah! Marshall's checking on one of K2 there. He's out, yeah, so that means we're down to two for K2 on the field here. Change of plan. They thought they were over there, but they're not. They've all moved over to there. Um, so all my fellas are moving over to that side. And I'm just running, kind of trying to keep cover. The door's open. I don't like it. The door's open. That's not good. And a cunning move there from K2, managing to forage beneath a root. Hope he gets up all right. And in fact, they've become bold enough to step outside of their hut there. The, the tigers are really pushing it to the limit. They've spotted them, essentially. And now the second member of Tigers is determined to pin down. Oh, and they have. They've, there we go. There's the, one of the, one, another member of K2 ripped off the field there before his prime. And just one, mem one member left. And frankly, I pity him. So they've really become very bold now, the Tigers. They're standing out on their own ground, determined to turn that route pink. I'm going to hide. They haven't managed to hit him yet. But K2 still fighting back, some good return of fire there. But really, it's just a matter of time until he sticks his head up. A pure amount of pellets. And we all have lost another Mayhem Tiger, so he's managed to do very well for a one-man band. And as we know in paintball, it just takes one person to turn the entire game around. Another one shot, which is remarkable work. Who is this mystery man from K2? He's Rambo. So they're trying to draw him out with... Crossfire. Let's see if this works. 
and it's game over. They did incredibly well there, trying to flush out the last remaining member of K2, and there he is, he appears, Mole Man, from his hole. A great job, but a result there for the Tigers. I feel very safe and protected. All right, Emily, we need to purge you from your pink hut. You can come out now, come on. We are, we are the winners. We're yeah, gonna gloat right. and we're gonna Don't love it. Don't rub it in. Ronnie, this is my super sniper style superhero. He was really holding the fort for me. Is that what happened there, Ronnie? Were you just looking after the good lady, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I was just seeing a lot. <laughs> Towards the end. Your team actually got quite cocky, didn't they? they? They opened the door, walked around. I think they got a bit too arrogant myself. Oh, really? Yeah. Dissension in the team? I think there'll be some trouble in a minute. <laughs> Give me a bit oh, of a punch up. Sparks will no. fly. We'll uh, take a look at our leaderboard now to see what that does to the points. K2 managed to remove three of the Tigers players, giving them 30 points. The Tigers, on the other hand, got four. That's 40 points. So let's add that to our leaderboard, and it looks like this. K2 have 110, but the Mayhem Tigers are roaring ahead with 190. And welcome to round two of Snap Shooter. You saw in part one of the show, Okamon from K2 managed to crank up 35 points on our very own target range. But now my team have a go, the Mayhem Tigers, to see if they can beat that score. They could be picking up a special prize at the end of the series for the best Snap Shooter in town. OK, let's bring on the man. It's Gorag from the Mayhem Tigers. All right, mate, how are you feeling? OK. Yeah, have you done a target range before? Not like this one, though. OK, well, hopefully, keep your eyes peeled, OK? They're pretty fast, they're pretty nifty. Ready to play Snap Shooter? Mm hmm Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Miss. Well, that was the last round of Snap Shooter. Gorak, come on in. That was your first time doing it, wasn't it? Was it, was it fun or was it a bit scary? It is harder than I thought it was going to be. It is difficult. We are not going easy on these guys at all. How did you think you did? Um, OK, but I think I hit the friendly target a couple mm. of times. You did, I'm afraid. You hit the friendly target, so I'm going to have to deduct some points for you. But you did manage to get four baddies, so that would have given you 20 points, but I'm afraid for getting one of the good guys, we're going to take off 10, giving you a final of 10 points. Not too bad, though. Um, so let's check out the leaderboard and see how that affects the final scores. So after Snap Shooter, the leaderboard scores look like this. K2 have 145, but the Mayhem Tigers have a massive 200. Okay, it's time now for the last game of the day. This is the game that could swing it for K2. It's kind of like paintball meets football, but we call it speedball. The teams are going to be at opposing ends of the pitch. They've got to make their way to the centre of the field without getting shot and get this ball into the opposing team's goal. And for that, they get 25 points. Game on! Game on! And there we are. The Mayhem Tigers looking pretty strong there. K2 stuck behind their defences at the moment. They've got to get their confidence up because you know this game could swing it for them, couldn't it? It could indeed, Emily, and if they don't move fast, they could easily lose the advantage here from the Tigers. K2, we've got a K2 member down. Oh, no, boys, we can't have that, so it's four now, K2. We've got some advanced men. I've had a Tiger has just gone into the number five bunker. Ooh. The marshal at number five has uh, taken a clear look at the team member. There's a bit of dispute going on. And he's 
pulling him out. Yeah, he's oh. not happy about it, but one of the Tigers is out. OK, we've got two K2 people who have advanced quite close to the ball now. Come on, Tigers, you've really got to pull through here. Steve, the team captain, is always the back burner. He's, all, he's, the, he's the captain and he always stays at the back, but he does really well. He never seems to get hit, and he's always covering people. Certainly because there's a lot of them to cover. <laughs> But then again, on the right-hand side here, K2 have just moved up to bunker number 10. And 10 suddenly picking up Ooh, the Oh, Tigers have gone. They both tried to shoot. I think they just shot at each other there. So for K2 there, Latham managed to pour a mug, which means stepping up on your opponent, and pulled out Flash from the Tigers. Crept up on him behind six and pulled him out with a shot to the head. He got taken out himself, but that was the benefit of the whole of his team. Yeah, he's been hit. He's down. Oh. oh, he tried to break cover. He broke cover. They're breaking cover, but he got shot. K2 is down, but we've got one more left. So it's two against one, and it's clever. It's going to be oh pulling God. the mark. They're pulling that the mark. is a cheeky move. That was a cheeky move. Oh. Did brilliantly there to K2. Pull out the final K2 member. But look at Steve. But look at Steve. Go, go, go Steve, Steve. Go. You're my man. I love you. Go bounce that ball. Bounce that ball. And let's go. And Him and the ball are buddies, man. Steve <laughs> knocks it home, and the Tigers win. Yes. What a triumphant victory there. So at the end of that round, our final leaderboard scores look like this. K2 managed to eliminate four of the Tigers, giving them 40 points. The Tigers, however, well, they've romped home and wiped K2 out of all existence and popped that ball through the goal there, giving them 75 points. So here are the scores. K2 had 185, but the Tigers have a massive 275. Way! Nice one, Steve. Give me some skin. Well, my boys really pulled through there. The Mayhem Tigers, excellent play. We'll be seeing them in the quarter finals. Very exciting. Commiserations to K2, but we'll see you next time for some more Mission Paintball. Two more teams battle it out next tonight. Gipper Band and Beyond Reality pit their wits against each other in Mercenaries.